All right, guys, we're back with It's Freezing Out. Uh, there's several names of this episode. It's called It's Freezing Out. JC, I understand everything you're saying, and Deaf Bull Terrier. So I, this is what I want you to understand, JC. I don't know anything, but I understand everything. I'll tell you, that's what makes me such a good friend. I understand that now. I don't know anything, but I understand everything. Whatever problem these people have, I have some reference in my life to these problems, so I can understand it. All right, I gotta get crashed in the house real quick, though. So if you said what, hello Sophia, if you said what is the dog doing, why are those dogs sitting over there? Because it's freezing cold out and they're trying to sit in the sun. Luckily I found this dog's little shirt I can put on it, hopefully it still fits it. Uh, anyway Sophia, yeah, I realize that's why you love me so much. I don't know anything, but I understand everything. It's very painful. <laughs> I know nothing, but I understand everything. <laughs> I don't know, I just had that realization. There's nothing I don't understand. The things people tell me. You don't even know the things people tell me. I don't know why they tell them to me. But I understand. That's why. All right, well, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him in the sun because he already wants to go in the sun. All right, let me see. Let me show you the right way to put clothes on a dog. Get your food. So I've got this now that I can get them, amp them up a little bit. Because these things, if you said, and I don't know if you're there, Cher, but, you know, what's the deal with these dogs? They're very secretive with their body language. That's why they're not that demonstrative. They're very, very secretive because they're going to have sort of an explosive behavior. And they're not wanting to give that away. You know, if you said you mean, kind of like country fighting. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be lightning. When it hits, it's going to be lightning. It's gonna be lightning. Ow! Are you kidding me? Ow. Lightning hitting. <sighs> yeah. Hope you guys are okay. Sophia, are you all right? Anyway, uh, I I hope you were watching yesterday when I was when they were saying their friend Rick Crawford was going there because he's oh he thinks he's Rico Suave. I said oh we'll fix him up with Sophia. She'll chew him up and spit him out. It'll be hilarious. I'll tell her to do all live shots on Facebook. Good distraction. Nice all-American male that needs to be chewed up. Sophia, this guy needs to be chewed up and spit out. Just like sometimes people need to be hated. You know this very, very well. Sometimes guys need to be chewed up and spit out. I don't know how it is there, but they have these guys right here. They think every woman's in love with them. I mean. I don't know where they're coming up with this. I honestly think it's just in their own mind. All right, let me just put this coat on if I can. I don't know. I think you've grown since you had since we bought this. You always bend their paw, though. Oh, I don't know. That's pretty cute. Okay, sure he's put on a few pounds, but still looks cute. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna put him down there in the sun because he already wants to go down there and I'm just kind of trying to do a quick exercise. One of them's missing a scrunchie because I had to put it in my hair. Okay, all I gotta do is look. 
And I'm not, I'm not breaking my eye contact. Oh, he's trying to... And that little lab does that too. If you start petting them when they do that, you're in trouble. You see what Molly's reaction to it is. She's trying to protect me. Apparently he's refusing to do it with these clothes on. I want you to know, though, that dogs will do that to you. The problem is if you feed into it, you're the human petting machine, that that's how you turn the thing on. And if you said no one ever did that to him before, I think they did. His name before I got him, I actually think, I have to ask Nina, I think his name was Spot. Oh, Spot had it all. Tug toys, everything. Coats, sweater, shoes, tug toys. He screwed all that up. All right, let me just try looking. But you see, he's got an immediate reaction to me going. He's probably going to sidle up against me again. I'm not going to have any reaction. If I went like that at all, that's a reaction. Or people will tend to go like that when the dog jumps on them after they're tired of it doing it. Then they go like that. They don't realize that's just a... So I am. I'm right away with the yay yay, but I am sort of moving away too. Because remember yesterday, he was kind of like he was trying to jack me a little bit. Oh, he's actually running. Oh, and that one only had one scrunchie on it. All right, so you're gonna have to kind of go around to get that one, so. Oh, he's absolutely perfect. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna put that all together in a series because I basically did other than maybe you know, if I said the part I didn't do on camera was maybe 20 minutes total, because I did a few little morning sessions in the very beginning, you know, so it's all there but 20 minutes. And that's what I ended up with. And he's, look, I almost got him going. Did you see that, Mike, now? It's almost my behavior of getting him to go around the cone. I think if you said, well, we're going to do the retrieving as a byproduct, we'll get the going around the cone. I think you could do that. I can. I'm not going to bother him. Again, you are looking for, you know, if the dog is getting less and less animated as the training goes on, there's only really one reason for that, and it would be you, you know, that you're not any fun to be around, and I think people have to say that about themselves, whether it's a dog or a person, and when people are doing nothing but trying to stop the dog from doing something, honestly, you're really not that fun, you're not fun at all, you know. If you're doing something, someone's trying to stop you doing it. You're not that fun, you know. All right, guys.